is an article, uh, is, an, is a published article from the New York Times. This article claims that English is the king of the, all of the language. Uh, uh, this article claims that if you learn English, you can know other culture, other countries' culture very well. And two weeks ago, my grandma, uh, an older lady who only speaks Chinese when she, uh, since she was born, she called me and she, she said hello English to me. I, I was very surprised at that time. Uh, it seems people regard English as the international language. However, then I'm here to introduce you a constructed, constructed language called Esperanto. It was created by Zamenhof in Poland. Um, he aims to uh, he aims to create a language, uh, easy to learn at language, also politically neutral. Um, first, I will talk why. Uh, now you know my talk and my, my topic about this presentation. First, I will talk about why English is so popular in this world. I re I, I search the internet and here is here are my results. After reading all of them, the I conclude there are two main points why people choose English. Uh, first is economy and the other is studies. I'm not saying learning English for these two reasons are wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm saying that English should not be the international language. Um, I have two reasons. First one, it is not fair for those, uh, for those people whose native langu language is not English. Like, like me as an international student. When I started learning English, my school pushed me to do this. And I asked 30 of my friends, more than half of them said, uh, I have to learn English. If I do not learn English, uh, my mother will kill me, something like that. Um, the second reason, although, it, although English is sufficient for business, Mm, there is an increasing amount of people who study literature. They may prefer to read original, um, original literature in original languages. And according to a published article, English language dominance, literature and the welfare in London, the author warned that the tendency of a single world market to privilege the translation of English fiction and the poetry into other languages for reading or listening enjoyment may damage the production of the world literature. Also, the other points are that there is there are many classic fictions that people want to learn it in original language. Mm, if English would be optimal language in the long run, the world linguistic capital will be lost in the future. Now you know why I don't support English. Um, uh, next, I will explain why I support Esperanto as the international language. First of all, Esperanto is the most widely spoken constructed language in the world. For example, uh, George, George Soros, uh, the man who The man who broke the Bank of England. Um, his father is an Esperantist writer, and his father told him Esperanto from his birth. And the second reason, as I said, is fair for everyone in the world. Um, like I said at, at the beginning, it's political neutral language. And the final reason is that Esperanto is easy for everyone to learn. I, I started learning this language four years ago, and after I came to Purdue, I did an interview with an Esperanto speaker who started speaking this language from 1999. Here is his conclusion why Esperanto is easy for everyone. First of all, it's phonetic. That mean, that's different from English and French. For, uh, that means if you know all the, so all the sounds of Esperanto, you can uh, you can spell it once you heard this word. And the other two reasons is well, the, this one is uh, grammatical rules have no exceptions, and also Esperanto is widely used for prefixes and suffixes. I will list two examples of these two um, reasons. First is this: 
um, if you want to make a plural, you can simply add a J under each single noun. Like homo <laughs> means an apple in, in English. You can put J, homo means apples. Also, domo is a house. Domo you can means houses. Hondo is a dog, and hondo is a do uh, is, it means dogs in English. It applies every single every single noun in it, and it's random. And the uh, second example shows we can uh, uh, shows the use usage of suffix or and uh, for example, mm, sana means healthy in Esperanto. If you put more um, in front of sana, that means opposite of sana. That means sick. If you change uh, change the suffixes, that means uh, you now a, a sick person. Mm -hmm. And you change again, it change it turns into a new word. That means it's like a European language. Um, <coughs> that reduces our time to learn a, a, a language. The word it means the word is limited, but the possibilities are unlimited. Mm, also, normally learning a New language means we need to learn some culture from that country. But if we learn, if we choose Esperanto, we do not need to learn any culture about any country. You can simply uh, speak it online, and there are free lessons online. And this is in a conclusion. I think I strongly believe that Esperanto is easier and fairer than any other popular language in the world. Um, so uh, I wish you guys try to learn this language in the future.